mentioned earlier in the show, Denton Geyer enters the playoffs as the district champion of 5-6A. The Wildcats have one of the area's top seniors, a high flyer who's been a fixture in the highlights over the last couple of years, and he's also this week's MVP bobblehead recipient. He's one of the most unstoppable players in the Metroplex. Whether getting to the rim or knocking down an open jumper, Kyron Lindsay is one of the premier players in the area. Averaging 24 points and 12 rebounds a game, he's a big reason why the Wildcats finished the regular season ranked 10th in the state and enter the playoffs as district champions. After graduation, he'll continue his career at UNLV. Kyron's a special talent, and earlier this week I had a chance to chat with him about his career and what lies ahead. And now let us welcome in Kyron now, putting up monster numbers this season, and now he has an MVP bobblehead. What do you think, man? Yeah, I saw it a little bit. Uh, it looked like me, just with a bigger head, so it's cool just to have a bobblehead. Well, it's well-deserved. As I mentioned, you've had a great season to this point. Tell me a little about the playoffs upcoming for your team, what this year has been like for your squad. Oh, well, since the season started, first couple of games, we've grown extremely, gotten closer on and off the court, uh, and just working hard uh, to make it farther in playoffs. And when I did my sophomore year, and just to give those new players a playoff experience for years to come. So it's, we're doing pretty good right now. Now you're committed to go play college basketball at UNLV. What was it about that program that made it the right choice for you to play college basketball? Just the culture around it, um, like the coach coming back from being an old uh, UNLV player and winning a championship when he was there, uh, and just bringing back the crazy Las Vegas culture. Uh, so that should be fun. And that was a, a big decision. Can't wait to watch you there in the future, but between now and then, clearly there is still a lot of work to be done. I know you're working on your individual game. I'd love to hear a little about that. What are you focused on so that you feel more prepared for college basketball when that time comes? Uh, just extending my range and becoming more vocal. Um, and then uh, guarding the ball a little better than I am right now because I know at the higher level this will be uh, crazy athletic guards and just since the game has changed, uh, the perimeter game is way different, so just guarding the ball and extending my range. All right, but enough about college basketball in the future. Let's talk about right now. It's been a great season for you all. What is it like on campus right now, the excitement about chasing a state championship? Take me inside the locker room and around campus, and how far do you think this team can go? I think we can go pretty far. Uh, like I said, like our chemistry on and off the court is getting way better, and we're working harder, so I feel like I want to I wanna get that ring. Uh, that's been my dream of mine since uh, coming into high school, finding out about that state ring. So I think if we keep doing what we're doing and working hard and putting our heads down and not listening to all the talk, I think we're going to go pretty far. Well, no matter what happens from here, it has been a remarkable season for you all there at Geyer. What are you going to remember most about this group, this team, and this season? Uh, just the family environment, everybody being there for each other, everybody sticking up for one another. Well, it's been really fun to watch. Congratulations on a fantastic run so far on the MVP Bobblehead Award, and good luck the rest of the way, man. Thank you.